So bluefin tuna are under threat in the Pacific, but in the U.S. state of Illinois, another type of fish is out of control. Authorities say Asian carp numbers have increased at such a rapid rate that they're now looking at some unconventional ways to control them. CCTV's Rosa Kazan has the story. We'll see how much we got for a week. James Fisher is the third generation owner of Schaefer Fisheries, okay, one doing? of the largest distributors of Asian carp in the United States, an invasive species the government is desperately trying to stop from infesting North America's Great Lakes. Every year we process about 30 million pounds of fish. Um, of that fish that we process about 15 million pounds is Asian carp. Asian carp is what turned the small business that was selling fish only in the United States into a global multi-million dollar company with distribution in 16 countries. This plant was built 11 years ago specifically to process the exploding volume of Asian carp coming from local fishermen. Where some saw an environmental disaster, Schaefer Fisheries saw a business opportunity. The owners believe Asian carp saved the Midwest fishing industry from the brink of disaster, but they've had to work hard to build a market for it. We've made um, fish patties, we've made fish sticks, we've made uh, gefilte fish, we've made hot dogs, we've made uh, hamburgers, we've done chili. You name it, we've done everything with this fish or tried to. But government officials and biologists here at Chicago's Shedd Aquarium see this big fish as a threat. They were brought to the U.S. from Asia in the 1970s to control algae buildup in sewage treatment plants. But they escaped almost immediately and started rapidly reproducing in the Mississippi and Illinois rivers. As they spread throughout the system, they sort of crowded out a number of our native fish and competed with food for a lot of our native fish. And that's the main problem right there is that they're replacing some of our native fish. Authorities are even talking about building a permanent $18 billion barrier to block parts of Chicago's canal system and protect the lakes. But the plan has a major flaw. Flooding. Uh, if you try to separate the basins, you have to manage the flooding. You also have to think about drinking water. The whole canal was built to, to get pollution away from our drinking water supply of Lake Michigan. This is just lightly seasoned. It's got uh, a little garlic. Dirk Fusik is doing his part to encourage eating the fish out of existence. He sells carp burgers at his fish shop in Chicago, giving away free samples every Saturday, though he admits Asian carp can be tough sell. The downside with all carp is that it's very bony. And unfortunately, the American public likes no bones in anything, and it's a really a good tasting fish. You just have to get past their ugly face and the bones, you know. So once you do that, it's, it's really a tasty fish, healthier for you than the popular tilapia. In the U.S., the Schaefer's sell Asian carp mostly to ethnic communities for Chinese New Year and Jewish holidays. But with all those fish out there, they are too hoping the white American public develops a taste for Asian carp. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.